So just when we thought India's electric vehicle game was slowing down, the center just dropped a game changer that's set to take the electric bus industry full throttle. The number 10,900 electric buses. Yes, you heard that right. And guess who's getting the lion's share? Well, you guessed it right, Bangaluru. That's right, Bangaluru is getting a massive 4,500 electric buses under the PME Drive scheme. But wait, Delhi gets 2,800, Hyderabad gets 2,000, Ahmedabad 1,000 and Surat a very respectable 600. So why is this such a big deal? Well, this isn't just about swapping out diesel buses for electric ones, no. This is actually the transformation of India's public transport game altogether. So let's talk numbers. The tender was floated by Convergence Energy Services Limited CESL, on the 27th of June 2025 under the gross cost control model. So basically, the government pays operators per kilometer of service. So what this does is that this makes it a reliable, revenue generating model which could bring in OEMs and fleet giants looking to cash in. What is the ultimate goal? Well, it is decarbonizing urban mobility. So we are talking cutting down emissions, reducing fuel imports, building smart transport infrastructure that actually works and more importantly, lasts. So why Bangalore? Well, it's all about Karnataka's push. The state actually requested for 7,000 electric buses just for Bangalore. And let's be honest, with traffic jams, pollution and a city growing faster than you can say, well, uh, gridlock. <laughs> this move was long overdue. Even Mr. Nitin Gadkari dropped hints that Bangalore could see flying double-decker buses. Well, to quote him directly, this is what he said. Ye khayali palao nahi hai. Main jhooti baat nahi karta. Bangalore ke liye zaruri hai. So basically the translation, this is not a pipe dream. This is the future and it's already in the works. So behind the numbers, the PME drive scheme, which launched in October 2024, has a total outlay of 10,900 crore rupees. The target? Well, it is to deploy 14,028 electric buses by March 2026. Wow, that is ambitious. And guess what? Bangalore is getting almost one third of that. But that's not all, folks. There's another scheme called PM eBus Seva Payment. That is basically a security mechanism with a budget of 3,435 crore rupees. So why does this matter? Well, that is basically to ensure operators don't lose out if public transport authorities decide to, well, not pay up. Well, it's a layered ambitious plan to make electric vehicles viable, bankable and very, very scalable. This is like the Silicon Valley of electric buses. We should care about this because India has set its sights on 30% electric vehicle adoption by 2030. And electric buses, well, they are the fastest way to get there. Because every e-bus hitting the road reduces air pollution, cuts down on diesel imports, generates jobs in local manufacturing, supports domestic battery and charging infrastructure. So essentially, from Delhi to Surat, it's about cleaning the air and revolutionizing how India moves. And what about Bangalore? Sure, it may be choking on traffic today, but tomorrow it could be the face of India's electric mobility revolution. And this, this tender is just the trailer. And talking about something electric, well, which is going to take place in the not so distant future, that is Cypher 2025, India's biggest AI summit and expo. In its ninth edition, it promises to be electrifying. 
So be at KTPO Whitefield, Bangalore, starting 17th of September 2025, right through till 19th of September 2025. Why? Because that's where the AI magic begins. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Front Page by AIM TV. Think AI, think AIM. And one thing that we should not be saying is, buskar.